Today we're installing the JKS tie rod sleeves on our 2021 Ford Bronco. Stay tuned. Yep, we've all seen those YouTube videos of the new Bronco owners out there wheeling, actually using their Broncos. And then snap, crackle, pop, there goes the inner tie rod broken right at the outer tie rod to inner tie rod junction. And taking a closer look at the tie rod assembly, you can see why. That inner tie rod is about the size of your pinky. It's small, it's weak, and you may ask, why does Ford have such a small tie rod shaft? Well, the general consensus is, it's an engineered weak link. You break the tie rod before you break the steering rack, which is harder and more expensive to replace. Now to fix this, there are a number of companies out there making some pretty trick partial and full tie rod replacement kits. What's not so exciting is the price. Those parts are very cool, but they also come at a high price tag. Now for an inexpensive fix that's easy to install, JKS. Yes, that company that builds cool Jeep parts has stepped up to the plate with their tie rod sleeve kit for the Ford Bronco. Now this super simple kit consists of two steel sleeves that install over the inner tie rod shanks, giving them much needed support to the inner tie rods. Now this isn't the first time the off-road world has seen bent and broken tie rods. When GM released the H2 and H3 Hummers and they were out off-roading, they too experienced the same problems, just like what we're seeing in the new Bronco. Now you may ask, what was the fix back then? Well, it was tie rod sleeves, just like these sleeves from JKS. And how do they do it? Well, they're adding another wall surface all the way around that inner tie rod shank. And that will help limit the amount of flex or bending of the inner tie rod at that inner to outer tie rod junction. And if you limit the flex, you will help limit that breaking. Now, how hard are they to install? Well, these are actually pretty easy. So let's show you. Now you gotta start out by getting the vehicle up in the air and get those front tires off. And then you wanna clean up around this inner tie rod and get all the dirt, mud, rust, anything else that's in the way. So then take a 21 mil wrench and we wanna break the lock nuts loose. Now, once you have it loose, you want to spin it back finger tight against the outer tie rod assembly. Then we want to grab a 21 mil socket and pop off this outer tie rod nut. Now we want to pop off the outer tie rod. And to do that, you want to grab a hammer with a nice flat face and you wanna hit really flat right on the end here. And it might take two or three hits to get it to pop. There she goes. Now we can pull our nut off the rest of the way. And then out comes your tie rod. And your tie rod shank is tapered and so is the knuckle. So by smacking that nice and flat, it's gonna shock it and it'll pop the tie rod taper right up. Now we can just take our tie rod and unscrew it. Now we don't wanna move that nut. That nut is telling us what position this outer tie rod is in. One trick you could do is you could even wrap a piece of tape around the back side just to hold that nut stationary. We're gonna unscrew our tie rod. Now we wanna measure the stick out from this nut. And so we can take a ruler and slide it right in there. And this is gonna give us just, boy, a hair under inch and a half. Now that'll work, but what we like to do is grab a pair of veneer calipers and we can slide it in and then lock it out. And now that, 
that measurement is locked in there. All right, now this sleeve is gonna screw right in over the threads and it's gonna rest right up on this shoulder. Now, just to make sure things come apart easy in the future, we're gonna grab a little anti-seize and we're just gonna coat that shoulder and we'll even come down the shank just a little bit. That'll help to keep everything from rusting together, especially if you're living out in the rust belt. Then we wanna take our blue Loctite and we're just gonna put a dab here right about where the nut was and then start threading our JKS sleeve in place. And as we get up on that shoulder, you can actually feel it get a little tight. And then we can grab our ruler or our calipers and we wanna spin that sleeve right down to where we're touching. Now we'll grab our Loctite again and let's just give a little bit. Don't use red, use blue and just a little bit. And now our outer tie rod can go on. Now you wanna hold that sleeve in position and bring the tie rod right up against it. And then we can drop it back down into the knuckle. Drop a blue on the tie rod thread. Then we're gonna grab our torque wrench and we're gonna to go to 46 foot pounds. Then we wanna grab a crow's foot, slip it on that JKS sleeve and we're gonna to torque that to 46 foot pounds. And now you're ready to head to the other side, wash, rinse and repeat. And then get your tires back on, put this thing on the ground and head for the alignment shop. Now, this sleeve is replacing that lock nut. And if we got our measurement right and that lock nut was not moved and this JKS sleeve is in the exact same spot, when we put our tie rod on and then we torque it down, we should have the exact same alignment. But it's an IFS and when IFS is out of alignment, it'll go through tires really fast. So we do recommend that you take it to an alignment shop and get it done proper. Now with your new JKS tie rod sleeves in place, you're ready for some off-road action. And you'll have a little more confidence knowing that you've added some beef to a problematic area. But before you go, keep in mind that we are only adding a little more strength to that weak area. Does this mean that tie rod failure is a thing of the past? Well, not necessarily. Bigger tires, heavier wheeling loads, and well, reckless driving technique can all add up to failure. And if people are right in their assumption that the inner tie rod is a failure point to help keep from damaging the steering rack, well, by beefing up that inner tie rod, we just may be moving the weak link further inboard. Now, of course, only time will give us the answer as more and more people start pushing their Broncos off road and finding out, well, where and what are the weak links? To get a set of JKS tie rod sleeves for your Bronco, We'll hit that link down in the description box below and get a set on the way. Then while you're down there, help us beat that YouTube algorithm. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and then that little notification bell alongside. The more subscribers we get, the easier it is to convince the boss to let us post up more videos like these. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you again soon.